I've had motherfuckers come at me on some weirdo shit, like on some gay shit. I've had motherfuckers come at me on some, oh, you should do this. And I was like, wow, what? Hollywood isn't just about glitz and glamour. It has its dark sides too. Behind the fame and fortune lie secrets. And not many dare to speak out due to the consequences. But there is an exception. Coolio. This dude fearlessly revealed shocking truths about Hollywood elites. And this has left everyone talking. From the shocking way in which black rappers are turned gay to sacrifices made. There's a lot going on in the industry. But before we go into the full details, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Coolio is like the daredevil of revealing some bad stuff in the hip-hop industry and no doubt one has to be fearless to give such a comment but you'll understand that this remark isn't entirely shocking especially if you're aware of coolio's upbringing the thing is artist leon ivy jr popularly known as coolio spent most of his growing up years in the vibrant streets of compton it wasn't always an easy life for young artists as his mom worked in a factory while his dad was a carpenter when artist was just eight his parents split and his mom moved the family to compton there he battled asthma condition that sent him searching for solace in the world of books. The local library became his second home, a place where his imagination could soar. But as he got older, artists found another passion, music, rap to be precise. As a teenager, he started rhyming his thoughts and soon earned the nickname Julio Iglesias, a nod to the famous Spanish singer Julio Iglesias. Later, he shortened it to just Coolio. Life wasn't all smooth for Coolio though. He had his share of troubles. He once made a big mistake, bringing a weapon to school. This got him into serious trouble, which eventually led him to serve time in prison for larceny. It was a tough lesson, but it didn't define his whole story. But Coolio faced other issues, and this time, he became addicted to crack cocaine. Eventually, Coolio picked himself up again and left behind his old habits right after visiting his dad in San Jose. He didn't stop there though. Coolio was determined to turn his life around. He decided to attend Compton Community College, where he pursued his dreams while working various jobs, from volunteering as a firefighter to keeping watch over the bustling Los Angeles International Airport as a security officer. But it was in the world of music that Coolio truly found his voice. His passion for rapping never faded, and his talent soon caught the right ears. Later on, he then became a famous rapper, known for his unique style and hit songs. Speaking of hit songs, in 1987, Julio recorded his first single title, What You Gonna Do. He also released What Makes You Dance, Force Groove, with New School in 1998. In 94, Julio signed to Tommy Boy Records and released his debut solo album, It Takes a Thief. The lead single, Fantastic Voyage, received heavy rotation on MTV and peaked at number three on the Billboard Hot 100. Fantastic Voyage later became one of the biggest rap singles of the year. But Julio's big break was yet to come until a year after releasing Fantastic Voyage. That period, he released Gangsta's Paradise, featuring R&B singer LV for the film Dangerous Minds. Gangsta's Paradise became one of the most successful rap songs of all time, topping the Billboard Hot 100 for three weeks. With this achievement, Coolio made a name for himself and joined the likes of Dr. Dre and Ice Cube, who also came from Compton. However, as fame sets in, Coolio began to have issues with law enforcement. In 2012, Coolio was arrested at the Los Angeles International Airport, where he was charged with possession of crack cocaine and battery. Security found a crack pipe in his luggage, and the battery charge was tagged on after the rapper allegedly grabbed the security officer's arm when his luggage was being searched. With this, Coolio began to suspect that some big men in the industry were at play to put him down. But since he only spent a few months behind bars, he didn't give him much thought until in the year 2006. That year, Coolio was detained for carrying a loaded stolen farm, and as a convicted felon, he was not allowed to carry guns. And as that could have landed him a long jail term, Coolio pled guilty and was spared prior to his court hearing. He gave a baffling comment. Now, let's fast forward a bit in Coolio's story. At one point, Gangsta's Paradise, his breakthrough track, was so popular that it had nearly 2 billion views on YouTube. Can you imagine how many people around the world were grooming to his tunes? But life has its twists and turns. Five years later, precisely on September 28, 2022, something truly heartbreaking happened. Julio was hanging out at a friend's house in Los Angeles, California. It seemed like a regular day, but then something went terribly wrong. Julio was found unconscious on the bathroom floor. It was a moment of shock and sadness for his buddies. First responders rushed to the scene and despite their efforts to revive him, he was later pronounced dead. Later, the Los Angeles County Coroner's Office investigated and shared some tough news. It said Coolio took an overdose of fentanyl, heroin, and methamphetamines. After the report, many top artists like Ice Cube hit the internet to express their dissatisfaction. Though it was said that no foul play or gang activity led to his death, many of Coolio's admirers still find it difficult 
to accept this claim. On Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, all of the fans pointed fingers at Hollywood elites. One of the comments read, I don't believe in coincidence. He suddenly and mysteriously passes away after expressing his desire to make black people wake up and understand where they really come from. And after he talked about how he has supporters that are willing to stand up and help the movement. If you're famous with a voice and you start saying something they don't like, they take you out. After that, a bunch of recent interviews with Coolio popped up. In these interviews, he talked about some pretty bold stuff. He said he was going to reveal some secrets about the music industry. Things he'd seen that were so serious, he thought they might get him in trouble. Coolio had a plan, you see. He wanted to help people, especially black folks, to understand what's really going on behind the scenes in the music industry. He wanted to spill the beans on some dark stuff, but despite threatening to come out clean and say all that he knew about Hollywood, Coolio said he'd never been approached directly by the elites either to stop him or otherwise. He felt like they weren't reaching out, which was surprising. On top of that, he mentioned that some strange folks had approached him a few times, asking him to do some pretty odd things. He also said in an interview, he was placed under surveillance by people he didn't know. It's a bit of a mystery, isn't it? Though Coolio never mentioned names, it was obvious that he was going against the big men in the dark circles of Hollywood. All through these interviews, though, it was clear that Coolio was referring to the Illuminati. That's why after his death, there were a lot of conspiracy theories spanning from every corner. A lot of people started asking questions like, what exactly could Coolio have seen that prompted the Illuminati elites to send their elusive hitman after him? So, how likely is it that this is the case? One thing's for sure though, before his death, Coolio had gone on a podcast where he suggested some big time rappers who had got their record deals because they were into some unimaginable sexual acts with powerful music industry executives. It's what he experienced and almost fell victim to. But Coolio rejected their offer and instead maintained that his dignity and the lives he changed through his songs is all that matters to him. After rejecting their offer, they didn't leave him alone. In fact, he faced the worst times of his life. He was convicted at a first trial for a crime he knew nothing about. That's not all. His music career, which he so much cherished, crumbled, and Coolio himself was demoted to become a regular TV presenter who featured in kids' shows and gaming shows. In addition to what Coolio passed, though, he was even cheated on the publishing rights to Gangster's Paradise. But he just had to let things go and acted like nothing happened. Come to think of it, Coolio shared how scared he was to say stuff about the elites by saying he needs to protect his grandchildren and family. This situation explained why a lot of rappers in the industry might stay cool with these dark sides of Hollywood. Perhaps coming out to say this sorts of things comes with its own consequences. Coolio said he wasn't scared of the aftermath, and this is what many believe got him killed. It's quite expected that people think this way because immediately, Coolio exposed everything that happened to him in Hollywood. He started to receive death threats. After this, he was found dead. Do you think that's coincidental? Well, it happened that Coolio is not the only celebrity to have talked about the secret of the sex acts things going on within the walls of Hollywood. This brings us to Choke No Jokes claim. This is one celebrity who's a videographer for Hollywood and once worked with some big names in the industry back in the days. In his working days, he had a lot of film collaborations with Jay-Z, and that's when Choke No Joke saw some unthinkable things about the industry. He made a point that successful celebrities had to sleep with some executives in the industry. Choke made it known that failure to comply with this secrecy has led to some rappers going out of favor with the elites. Smart Guy is another American rapper who also shared what he saw happening in the music industry. He claimed that these young rappers, especially, are often targeted to do some really bad things. But you might be wondering, how does this happen? Well, according to Smart Guy, it starts with secret parties. These parties aren't your usual get-togethers. There's some super hush-hush stuff. And guess what? Rappers get invited to them. But here's the twist. At these parties, someone secretly records what's going on. It's like a hidden camera thing. Now, why they do this recording, you ask? Smart Guy says it's like insurance for the big shots in Hollywood. They can use these secret recordings in the future to control those rappers. It's almost like having a hold over them. They might even force the rappers to sign contracts against their will, all because of these recordings. It's like a plot from a movie, but it's happening in real life, or so Smart Guy claims. There's another outspoken rapper who's gone all out to tell the world what he knew about the industry, and that's Fat Joe. In a live discussion, he said there are often rumors about secret rituals and other stuff happening in the shadows. People sometimes talk about these mysterious rituals and secrets, and especially link them up with the rich and famous in the industry. Now about those secret rituals, some folks say they involve strange ceremonies or traditions that are super exclusive. But you know what? It's hard to know for sure, because it's all pretty secretive. 
Hollywood is full of different personalities that whenever a rapper died using Coolio as a case study, people quickly try to connect the dots and link whatever happened to executives, cabals, and the royal family. While most of these stories might be exaggerated or even made up, it's fun to wonder about the secrets of Hollywood. So try to take it with a pinch of salt and remember, not everything that glitters is gold. Thanks for watching and while you're here, click that video on your screen to watch more amazing content.